from showing in, in you know, films and in, in books a political image of India that doesn't recognize the current boundaries of India. I don't think that's, that's legitimate restriction on speech. People should be allowed to dream of an Akhan Bharat. Right? So if you censor that kind of political speech, that I, I believe would be a, a great restriction on legitimate political speech that is guaranteed under the freedom of expression in the Indian constitution. Second is the question of practicality. Right? Actually, first, before practical, let me just get to international law. At one point, maps of this sort were much more important. Why? And regulating maps was much more important. Why? Because maps were crucial, and still are to an extent, in terms of settling international boundary disputes. Right? Some of you might have, uh, you know, even now, Folks like the, the International uh, Court of Justice take up boundary disputes, right? So maps are, are, are very important in settling those. However, the importance of maps as a source for settling disputes has decreased over the past many decades because at one point, it was only the surveyor general of India or those who were financed by the queen or the king or the government who actually created these kinds of maps. Or it was folks like Radcliffe who created these maps, or Said Picot, right? Now, everyone is creating maps. I can create maps, that's what OpenStreetMap is about. Private companies create, create maps. And private companies not just create maps, they in fact, you know, they run with the hare and, uh, sorry, what was the, they hunt with the hounds and run with the hare, right? In India, they show the boundaries as approved by the government of India. In China, if you go to google.co.cn, or sorry, if you go to google.pk, uh, for instance, they'll show a different boundary, right? So, they don't really care about all this politics. Okay. They just want to be getting as much business as possible. And they don't want to get their officials and executives into trouble. So, and those maps that Google creates are not being used to settle international boundary disputes. They're irrelevant. They're not important, right? So from the international law perspective and settling boundary disputes, having a law of this kind is not important. And third, practicality, right? I. In geography class, misdrew maps all the time. I can't be getting the permission and the authorization and the stamp of the Surveyor General of India or some high security committee that this thing sets up to draw maps. Right? So the very idea that anything that is created that displays the external boundaries of India must conform to a standard that's been set down by the SGI, that really, I think, is going a bit too far in terms of being completely unimplementable. Even if we restrict this to things that are published, not just things that I draw, but things that are actually put out into the, the public, right? And publicized and etc. etc. Well, even that, I think, is, is rather, uh, rather unimplementable because Let's remember, all of us know what the officially recognized boundaries of India by the Indian government are. All of us know, all of us are taught that in school. It's not as though we don't know. All of us, when we read The Economist, or when we read National Geographic, and we see a map there, or when we go to Wikipedia and we see a map there, we also know that that is not depicting what is the official boundary as recognized by the government of India. We're not stupid, right? Now, where is the source of likely confusion? So why do we need to stamp the maps that come with The Economist and put a stamp on it saying that this is not recognized by the Surveyor General of India? 
Why do we need to do that? Just a second. Why do we need to do that with National Geographic, which after all I do sometimes buy for the maps, and for the maps alone, and disfiguring the maps doesn't help me any, right? So what is the purpose and the point? What do we achieve from this, except, from, except for an empty nationalism? Now, that's why I said I'm, I'm sympathetic to it, but I don't see how this actually helps. So in the earlier days, they actually used to put a stamp on it, yeah. and now they're blacking it For out. For a while, even uh, if you have got a spade or code or pin, they used to show a map, which uh, I don't think the Indian government would have approved. Wow. Uh, so, yeah. And, I mean, and, and that map, which was there on the first page of the cover of the, the report that I showed you of, on open government data in India, well, that's not something the Indian government would approve either. Yeah. So, I mean, People have been using all kinds of maps, and most cases, maps don't have any political meaning as such. For example, if you use in certain pictures in a class or something, it's not driven by you know, polit uh, you know political intention. It's kind of driven by other things. So it's kind of making every instance to be you know illegal. Is I think it's it's not required. And I, I completely agree with him that this is not this is not required. You know, we don't know where it comes from, what is the reason or anything. But I can't completely disagree. As you said, you know, we are sympathetic towards the definition of why this is required. But if this is is this the way, I don't think so. I mean, it, it one is it's impossible, and second is it won't work. So, as, as so please, uh, please do send your your comments, whatever you feel. Uh, to the person, and the second is the last day. And if, if you want any more information, oh, there's there's so many FAQs on Save the Man. Mostly, all your questions are answered there in some form or the other. Or you can send us an email, we'll probably answer the question. Okay. So, we have a very small group of people who are interested in this topic. Devanna would be moderating it, so we can start this now. Uh, if you have any questions. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to answer one thing. Uh, initially, we were talking about the data.gov.in. There were two improvements. I wanted to show the. Uh, uh, there are two improvements. There was a meeting last month, if I'm, if I'm uh, sure about the date. The one thing is they do allow commercial usage of. Uh, uh, commercial usage of data. The, the committee has agreed to, you know, state it very clearly that commercial usage of the data is okay as long as they credit the source of it. Which uh, that's what they say. As is of the, now, this is the pub, uh, just to clarify, this is the pub, uh, a public draft of this uh, is going to be put out in yes. June. Yeah. Uh, so this is this is from MOM minutes of the meeting which has been published on data.gov.in. You can check the MOM. And the second part is uh, they are also trying to do something with respect to community contribution of data. For example, if you generate some data and if you want to publish it on data.gov.in, they are trying to bring in some certain policies that that can be possible in some way. Uh, the third one is that I think they have put a committee on to form the license under which they have to operate. So there's not there's no end result yet, but they are thinking about it. So possibly in in, in couple of years, thinking how the governments work, couple of years we should have some some answer to that. So the data that uh, Chanagraha generates can uh, is that sort of the data welcome on data.com? I'm sure it, it is welcome, but they have to yet to come up with the policies and guidelines. To what is allowed, what is not allowed. As of now, it seems to be okay. But I think once they come up with certain kind of guidelines or policies, then you can see whether because it's that can okay. be a template for other places to say this is what we've achieved. Like they were able to uh, clean up the voters list in Shantinagar. No, I think I'm not talking about the voters list as such because cleaning up or doing the voters list is not like anybody's work other than the election commission. Uh, but I'm talking about certain other data sets which is you know generally generated by the public. That's it. I uh, just wanted to update.